We're talking about parallel circuits today. Let's That's talk right. about it. I'm Mr. Manwaring and I'm Dr. McGee. That's right. Let's get on with this. Let's get on with it. Let's talk about advantages and disadvantages of parallel circuits. Remember the last video we talked about series circuits. This one we're talking about parallel. And they're a little different. Parallel circuit actually has several paths or branches for the current to take. So what we learned about with a series circuit, there's only one path. This one more than one. That's right. Many different pathways. As many as you want. Usually more than two. I mean, two is like the minimum. At least, because... That would be more than one. That'd be more than one. Okay, right? I see how that works. So, actually, what's interesting about a parallel circuit is you add more branches, there's more paths or more opportunities for the electrons to flow. So, the overall resistance of each of those decreases. That's right, because you're adding another branch or another pathway. Very good. So, which type of circuit is in your house? Is it a parallel? Absolutely. How would you know? Well, because if you turn off one light or the light bulb doesn't work or something goes wrong with it, everything else keeps working. Um, so you just simply replace the bulb and you're up in business. Right. right and if I turn off my PlayStation, that doesn't turn off my TV or turn off the oven in the kitchen. Not usually. If you do, no. you might get that looked at. Yeah, that's difficult. All right. Here's an example of how a circuit diagram would look if you were going to draw a circuit diagram of a parallel circuit. What are some key features you want to point out here? Well, if you look at it, you have the positive and negative end of the battery. Remember, that's important. You have your wires connecting the different resistors. And the resistors are the little number blue numbered things in the middle of the screen mm -hmm. on each of the branches. We have three ohms, uh, two, three, and four ohms. Okay. Uh, advantages of a parallel circuit. First of all, there's multiple paths. How many? More than... More than two. More than right. Well, two and more then than one. more than more than one. More than one. So two is more. Than is more one. than one. Okay, right. good. All right. The resistors can be individually controlled, so you could put a switch on a specific branch and just turn one thing on and off, which is great. Uh, brightness can be spread out and equally uh, throughout the different branches of all the different light bulbs. That's right. And if one thing breaks, everything else just keeps on working, and that's that awesome. Is so cool. That is. What are some bad things? Bad things about them is. They're kind of more difficult to draw and build. Yeah. Oh, if yeah. you build a parallel circuit and you're able to take the bulb out and the other one still stays lit, you know that. But usually drawing them a little bit more complicated because you have more mm -hmm. pathways. Remember, start with a big square or rectangle, draw new lines connecting, mm -hmm. erase those spaces. We'll do a lot of that in class. But it, parallel so. circuit requires a lot more resources. There are more light bulbs, there's more wires, and there's more room for error or mistakes. That's right. So, and then watch out for the path of least resistance, in other words, short circuits, because those happen quite a bit in parallel circuits. Yeah, that's where one branch has a different amount of resistance than the other branches. Electrons are very lazy. They like to take the path of the least resistance, kind of like... Us? Yeah, yeah. people. So, yeah, we do yeah. too. Sometimes. You know, if Dad won't let me go, I always ask Mom. That's right. You know, that's how it works. Anyway, so here's what a parallel circuit looks like. You see you've got your battery. You've got a branch here for our light bulb and another branch for another light bulb. So you can see that electricity can flow through one light bulb and also go through the other one as multiple opportunities, and we'll see more about Remember, that. Remember, it comes from the negative end, not the positive end. Very here. good. Thanks for pointing that out. Here are some things that might happen. Talk to them about this. Well, if we look at the, the picture on the left-hand side, you see that, you know, electricity. Now, remember, we're showing the broken bulb there, trying to show you that it's not lighting, not that it's not a, a working bulb. But anyhow, electricity will flow from the negative end of the battery. It'll get to this little wire metal thing right there. And at that point, it'll actually have two options. It can go through the bulb and back to the battery, or it can branch off and go to the next bulb. So there's basically there's two ways for the electricity to flow through the circuit. So in that case, the bottom bulb is going to light, the other one's not, so you have another pathway. Very good. So if one thing goes wrong, it just keeps on working. That's right. Another great picture, another great diagram. You can kind of get an idea of how a parallel circuit can work and how you can have multiple branches. And notice the different ways of hooking these things up. You know, they call it parallel because you've got these lines that are parallel and these resistors that are branches that are parallel. All right, there's a lot of parallel lines. That was there. a weird looking battery. It right? was. It was yeah. pretty cool though. All right. So when you're thinking about these different types of circuits, all right, a both of these circuits have paths. Okay, whether one path or more than one path, they can have multiple resistors. They both work, and as you add resistors, the overall resistance in the circuit changes. Okay. Right. And the difference between the two. Uh, series and parallel circuits mm -hmm. is that a series circuit has just one pathway for electricity to go around. So if you follow it around just one time around from the battery back to the battery and it only goes in one path, that's a series circuit. If you have can follow it two 
or more, mm. correct? Because gotcha. one, two is bigger than more one. Than one yeah. So um, then we have a parallel circuit. If one goes out, they all the rest stay on in a parallel circuit, and then in a What's that last thought there, Mr. Well, Reed? you can have more than one resistor. You can just simply have one resistor for a series circuit or multiple resistors in a parallel circuit. Right. All right? And it just gives you an opportunity to have a little more uh, flexibility. Take a look at this diagram. It's pretty cool. Uh, it's a nice little diagram to see what's going on. So what we have here is we have a battery. We've got our, amp me our amp meter, our amp meter, and we've got the circuits going around, the electricity flowing around in a parallel circuit. So see you right here, I've got one branch and two branches going across. One branch, two branch going across. Now I left this one disconnected, okay? Because I wanted to show you in a parallel circuit, this light bulb, even though it's off, it does not in any way affect these. Right. Okay? Now watch this. Take a look here. You've got 1.8 amps flowing through both of these circuits. Watch what happens when I make this connection. Any predictions? What's going to happen to that? Well, pause the video. Make a prediction. What's going to happen to the amount of electricity flowing? Is it going to go up? Or is it going to go down? I think it's going to go up. You think? Mm. Let's see. Hey. hey! There you go. Did you say up? You're right. So you see by adding an extra branch, you're actually increasing the flow of electrons, making it easier for electrons to go through the circuit because there's more opportunities. There's more paths. It's like adding an extra lane to a highway. You know, more, more cars, cars can go through there. Yeah, right. Okay? Good point. All right. To wrap up, our goal was... To be able to demonstrate advantages and disadvantages of a parallel circuit. Very good. Put that together with your series circuit, and we'll catch you soon. And we got a bunch of circuits. Cool. See All right. See you.